of independence. Peace is finally being felt in the world's youngest nation. The country's war has just ended with formation of a unity government. However, it has left many widows now heading families. Now a start-up project, House of Bany, is encouraging these women to make and sell various traditional wares to generate a much-needed income. I'm so tired of the ne negative news you hear about South Sudan. And I, I like positive story. I like surrounding myself with positive energy. And I think painting South Sudan to different people outside South Sudan, they need to see that we are more and we are actually have more to offer as youth of South Sudanese. We have art, we have fashion, we have this, we have this. It's not all about the politics, it's not all about the war. The project is indeed making a change by raising the status of the women at home and reducing gender-based conflict, being able to earn an income rather than depending on the husbands. The women have gained respect from their community. When a woman is empowered, even the level of violence is reduced at the household level. A man will not want to beat a woman who is contributing to, to, to the upkeep of the family. The Mona Lisa initiative is encouraging these women to be the driving force of the change they want to see in South Sudan. South Sudanese woman is a very strong woman, but given a chance, given training, given skills, they could give so much more back into the country. The artists meet twice a month in Juba for art and craft show and for community exhibition. It's a chance to show off their work, earn money, and promote peace in the country. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.